Hey what's going on guys, Chris here, kicking 2017 off with another weapon guide for Battlefield 1, and in this video I'll be checking out that M97 trench gun that can be used by the Assault class. The Winchester Model 1897 is a US made pump action shotgun which was chambered in both 12 and 16 gauge. The weapon was designed by John Browning, who was actually working in partnership with Winchester during the late 1800s. When the Americans came into World War I, more service weapons were needed for troops on the front lines, and after observing the war for a few years and seeing that close range trench friendly firearms would be very beneficial, the Model 1897 became an ideal candidate for these environments. The M97 was suitable for trench combat and proved to be highly lethal and extremely effective in doing what it needed to do. Its brutal firepower, along with its shorter barrel length for giving the buckshot a wider dispersion, meant that it could clear trenches with ease, and this is why the Model 1897 is often referred to as the trench gun. Though this firepower became somewhat controversial amongst the German government, who really didn't like the M97 at all, deeming it to be unethical and barbaric. This led to a protest against the weapon's use, which was a bit ironic really, considering the Germans used poisonous gas and flamethrowers, which seems pretty horrific but the protest was refused by the Americans and the gun was used anyway. The German army retaliated to this by threatening to execute any captured troops who used the shotgun, though this was then countered by the Americans who came back and replied by threatening German soldiers with the same fate, for wielding flamethrowers and saw bladed bayonets. But beyond the First World War, the M97 was also used in other conflicts such as World War II and both the Vietnam and Korean Wars, and it's been said that up to a million units have been produced between 1897 all the way up to 1957, making it a very successful weapon and one of the most popular shotguns to be on the American market. In Battlefield 1, there's a total of three M97 trench gun variants available, including the Sweeper, Backboard and Hunter, which I'll go over later, and these can all be equipped on an assault loadout. But as for those statistics, the M97 fires a buckshot shell consisting of 15 individual projectiles, and each of these pellets are going to deal a maximum damage of 8.4 up to 12 meters. This damage rapidly drops off from here though, down to 4.2 beyond 19 meters, so basically its damage is halved over range. You'll need at least 12 of those pellets to make contact with an enemy up close to kill them, so essentially you can take them down in one shot in CQC, providing your aim is on point and you're within a short distance of your target. Though the further away you are, the more shots you're probably going to need, as not only will you need more pellets to hit your opponent at range due to its damage drop, but because of the buckshot dispersion, less of those projectiles are actually going to make contact, making it a very ineffective weapon at longer distances. The damage values are pretty much the same as the other shotguns, despite the 12G automatic having a 1 meter range advantage over the other two. Though with the trench gun firing 15 pellets, this is less than the Model 10A, meaning you're going to deal a lower overall damage per shot, but yet you're also going to deal more damage than the 12G automatic, which only has 11 pellets. The M97 fires at a speed of 138 RPM, and as far as fire rate is concerned, this puts it in between the other two also, with the Model 10A firing slower and the 12G automatic firing quicker. Recoil also follows this trend, with it having an upwards kick of 9 and a horizontal value of 1.5, which actually makes it less accurate than both the other shotguns and just a bit more stable than the Model 10A, with that having an upwards kick of 11. But because you might often need a second or third spray of pellets to put down another player, this might make landing follow up shots a tiny bit harder, and it's not going to be quite as easy to do as it is with the 12G automatic though it should still be slightly more reliable for blasting out consecutive shots than the Model 10A, down to it having a lower vertical kick and of course due to it firing faster. But because multiple shots are often required to kill with the trench gun, this recoil might pose as a bit of a problem at times, and you'll usually need to readjust your aim to get yourself lined up back on target again after every blast. Now as for those three different weapon variants, the M97 Hunter is the one to go for if you want to increase that range a bit. It doesn't directly affect the damage the projectiles deal, and it's just going to give you a 2 meter range advantage over the backboard variants, which might not sound like a huge difference, but because the gun's better at retaining its damage over slightly longer distances, this might ensure that the gun will kill in one less shot, making one hit kills more consistent around and just beyond those close proximities. Next up is the backboard variant, which has a lower recoil pattern, making it easier to stay on target for firing consecutive shots. It's got a 30% reduction to both vertical and horizontal kick, and it's going to recover faster from recoil too. It might not be able to kill in one shot quite as effectively as the Hunter variant over distance, but you shouldn't have as much of a problem lining up your next shot on target, 
with that buff to accuracy and recoil reduction. And because the M97 sometimes needs a couple of shots to kill, and its kit can bounce the gun off targets, making it harder to land follow-up shots at times, this could be very beneficial, and making a much easier gun to aim with and use. But last of all is the Sweeper variant, which is the wild card of the pack, playing out a little bit differently to the others. It fires a smaller buckshot, and so it's got a completely different set of damage figures to the other two variants. Instead of firing 15 projectiles per shot, this has been increased to 22. But each one's going to deal less damage, with a maximum of 7.2 up to 10 meters, and a minimum of just 2.4 beyond 16 meters. Another change from the others is the fact that the sweeper actually has a different pellet spread, with a lower vertical spray and a wider horizontal spray. So basically, the buckshot is going to spread out in more of an oval pattern rather than circular, which might make it less concentrated and easier for hitting several targets all close together. It's going to be a very strong weapon up close, but almost useless further away, as it's not only extremely weak over distance, but each shot is going to spread out a lot, forcing a good majority of your pellets to miss your target. So all in all, the M97 trench gun is definitely the good all-rounder of the shotguns. It's got a balanced fire rate, damage output and recoil pattern, which puts it right in the middle of the other two shotguns in the game. No factor is particularly the strongest or the weakest, and it's going to perform consistently well because of this. Though because multiple shots are often required to take down enemies, the gun's kit can sometimes throw your aim off, making it harder to get back on target. But so long as you can readjust, the M97 is a reliable, versatile option to pick for close quarter engagements. But that's it for this one guys, thanks for watching, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for plenty more. Take it easy, and I'll be seeing you in that next video.